Your son, I'm writing you this for my study, just after you have been born. Your mother and I are both very excited, and we can wait to see you have a happy and prosperous life. However, this is a very difficult task, for this reason, to soothe you in time of despair, be a companion in time of solitude, and also to help you get through everything you will probably face. I have decided to tell you a story about a time in which my life twists, turn, burn, and finally stitched back together. That time, dear son, was the year 2015. Dad, have you seen my wallet? I can find it. Are you going out? No, I'm just dressed like this for my Bruce Day with you. Good one, son. You almost got there, but why, why I don't know about it? Um, simple. My Michael invited me to his place. I think you were okay with it. Marcus, last time you went to Michael's house, you finished with a broken teeth and one shoe. I don't think it's correct that you go there. Seriously? Come on, dear dog. Don't you want your little little kid have fun? Like you have fun back there? Marcus, you are not a grown up. You don't have even a life quarter of your life. So I don't think that's correct. And at your age, I had already a girlfriend with that was the girl I was going to marry with. So well that I'm already 16. I have much to do than keeping my grades up. But I have, I know I have my ups and downs, but surely I can handle it. If your mom were here, Come on. seriously Marcus, if your mom were here, it don't even matter how crazy she was, she would agree with me. You know what dad? I know she's dead, but seriously, if she was here, she didn't have trouble to recognize you. And you know what? You are dead for me, also like my mom. I'm leaving. Marcus! Peace off. Hello? Yes? He... What? So, Marcus, I know this must be difficult for you, but you're going with your grandma. Like a vacation? No, like a for, for a new beginning. You know, you are very lucky. I have never been into Portugal. Portugal? Listen, mate. I wish you could stay with me. I really do. And I try my best to. But costoilos are costoilos. And if your father left you with your grandma, it's for a reason. I know you haven't met her, but she's family. You will do all right. If you had any other relatives, I would get to I would get you to them. Still, we are all here for you. We will be back in a few years. Thank you. I know you are doing very good. Hey, it's nothing. Anyhow, I bet your grandma is great, and so it's Sintra. Your mom was a great woman, and I expect your grandmother to be as well. Oh, your father left this for you, and I wanted to get to you before you leave. You're here! Welcome! You look just like your mother. Come in, come in. You'll stay here for a while. So I'll show you your room. Our family, the Da Silva, as you may know, we are a family of tradition. My grandmother was born here, and so was her grandmother's grandmother. Although Abonina wasn't up for raising you here, you're more than welcome. There's your room. If you need something or, or you're uncomfortable, you can call me. Here's my room anyway. 
I hope you like it. You call me if you need something. No, stop pretending everything is okay. Calm down. You must learn some manners. Calm down? Seriously? Say the old lady I have never met. I mean, who are you anyway? You have never cared about me, nor my family. I'm alone here. You don't have to be like that. Just go away. Cool. This boy is facing what many would call being uncool. See, nobody has talked to him since he arrived from who knows where, and he hasn't talked to anyone either. Mysterious, quiet, and secluded. Marcus Bennett, who has told his name to no one, except teachers, seems to prefer being with books than with people. Will he survive to the horrors of high school? I hardly believe that something possible. Why? Hello. I had not seen you. Pardon me? It was so rude of me not to say hi. Because I know it's rude to be around people and not saying hi to them. But even worse, to talk about them as if they were not present. He finally speaks. And I consider myself to be the lucky one. With an ironic Will you stop doing that? What? What do you think? Oh. Oh, you're reading! Good! I like to read too. And to sing. And to listen to music. I also like to cook. Pies mainly. I adore pies. But they give me stomachache. Um, what else? I also like to sing, although I'm not that good. I dream I'm in berserk when I sing in the shower. Um, I also like to dance. Broke my arm doing that once as well. Oh, Oscar Wilde! Oh my God, isn't he great? I love his novels. Well, I don't want to brag, but I have read many novels. You know, I could give you a list if you want. But, you know, it depends on the genre, because there's fiction, fan fiction, realistic fiction, non-fiction... Whoa, and you one chatty girl? Well, it was very nice to get to know you. And really cool, then you like Oscar Wilde too. Have a nice day, then off you go. Um... <laughs> Look, I know I chat a lot, but I'm not stupid. I mean, who else has talked to you in this school since you arrived? I mean, you should at least be thanking me. That's what you should do, not kicking me out. Um, right. Sorry, I guess. Oh, it's okay. I'm used to it. Some people are, say I'm weird. They're all like, Oh, Calypso, stop putting that camera on my face. Or, Oh, Calypso, don't feel my food. Respect my privacy. And, such nonsense. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I guess they will reject it when they don't get a mention when you win an Oscar. <laughs> I really like films, but then I hope you have a nice day and sometimes mention me when you win. Oh, feeling smug, are you? <laughs> but, oh, wouldn't it be great to win an Oscar for my films? I mean, I love films. I really love them. Do you like them? I mean, I could show you some if you want, someday. El venu de Estados Unidos. Give me a cell phone. No, you bully. Yes. Hey, come. And then she said, oh dear, I'm terribly sorry, but I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, God almighty. One would have thought that being Lucille's cousin, that we'll find something good in them. But now you know. Yeah, well, talking about relatives, 
How are you doing, young, young Marcus? I'm doing very well, Fabio. Thank you. And at school, how is it going? It's pleasure I love, Mr. Ruiz, but I have to admit it. It's quite difficult. Actually, David, he's doing pretty well. In fact, dear, why don't you invite Calypso, your friend? Actually, she's coming over tonight. Oh, that's great. Hi. Now, Kalish, this is very important for me, and thanks for coming. Although you could have worn something. Ah, never mind. See, now you're meeting my grandmother's friends, and I can make her look bad. We, the Da Silva, have a reputation. Marcus, you're kidding, right? Tell me you don't believe in that noble blood nonsense. It doesn't matter if I do or don't. But my grand does. And I can make them look bad. I know you are very honest and direct. And I really admire that you, that you are like that. But I implore you, just two hours. Think every word you say. <sighs> they are my only one family. I'll try. You're the best, see, Doc? Buckle up, dear Paul. It's gonna be one hell of a ride. Oh, Marcus, you're finally here. Dear. Of course, where else would I be? And who's this lovely lady? Oh, my name is Calypso, mister. I haven't seen you either. <laughs> well, I think I've seen your mother or your mother before. Oh, I hardly doubt it. I mean, my mom wouldn't hang out with blocks such you. I mean, she was not that classy. If you know what I mean. Oh, give me, give me a second. Mm, uh-huh. Do you want to meet? Where? Twelve. How much? Mm-hmm. Listen, I can't talk now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Business. Well, what a shame. I will say oh, we're very privileged. Even you, dear Marcus, you're privileged too. Your family is blessed and you must make sure you keep it that way. I mean, you must... You must... Hang out with that cohort, if you know what I mean. You are quite right, David. That's what you are. My grandmother always... Ouch! Pardon me. They have always told me so. Oh, Madalena. Isn't your grandfather delight grandson delightful? Now, let's hope he doesn't take the apple and, and run off. <laughs> what do you mean, take the apple and then run off? I mean, <clears throat> from what I've heard, she was a great woman. I mean, she raised Marcus. Call. Oh, no, no. Indeed, she was a delightful woman. I guess, but she wasn't, I'm afraid, our type. <clears throat> Even one, as tragic as it sounds, must accept when one's daughter isn't like you. Yes, I am afraid you're quite right. What I don't understand is, is German Elena. Why is that she has manners of a person? Why didn't you let her know? Well, I surely did, dear. But she was not like us, if you know what I mean. Uh, she was like different. So I told her every day she had to change and she needed to change indeed, but she didn't, then she left. When she came back, she was pregnant and she was sick. Can you believe it? But what can you do? You must protect yourself. <laughs> Poor thing, you must have to have been so rough for you. Oh, for you? What the hell? Bugs! Poor child! Marcus. Thanks for everything. See you tomorrow at school. Bye. Oh dear, wasn't it interesting? I know he's weird, but... Well, no, she's actually really nice, but... Is she right? What do you mean? Well, she's not like us. 
You are saying I can be with her? No, 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 I'm not saying that. I mean, well, you can't anyway. I mean, your school called today. What? Yeah, they told me you were being bullied and you weren't that okay with your group of friends because you have no group of friends. That's not true. The thing is that you only hang out with Calypso, so... Well, dear, I will talk with Edward and we're planning to take you back to your home. Are you talking seriously? Yeah, uh, well, it's better for you and it's better for everyone if you go back there. So, you're gonna be okay. What do you say? Well, you're not exactly being fine here, so you must go. That's not right. Well, go pack your bags. It's better for all. I think you would be okay. What the hell are you doing oh. here? Whoa, someone's in a bad mood. I finished the movie. What happened last night in, with my family in the dinner? Oh, with those bats? <laughs> I mean, I was protecting me, your mother, and even you. I mean, they were treating us like vermin. I asked you only one favor and you didn't mean it for me. But, Marcus, I mean... <laughs> I don't want to see you. No, Go wait. Away. Go away. Marcus, you're a great guy. Just remember that. From now, we'll all be gone. All our friends will move. For you not to fly over rockets. I'll just say that it's about someone else. They're going to bed. Someone in your church, huge. And please. If you ever friend, get to meet someone like him, I'll give you an advice. Buckle up your phone. Cause it's gonna be one. Nothing one. is as it has been. And I miss your face like hell. And I guess it's just as well.